Welcome back to Art at Home with Miss Lindstrom. So excited to have you guys back. Today we are going to continue with our origami unit. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a sonobe unit to make different geometric shapes. As with last time, you can pause the video when needed or you can watch the whole thing and then try it on your own afterwards. But remember, you can always go back and watch the video again and then pause it to try each step of our origami. So let's get started. Our target is I can create an origami geometric cube. Let's review. What is origami? Origami is the art of paper folding. Nakashima inspired you. Today we are going to start with a simple geometric cube. Now this cube is created using six different pieces of paper all put together like a puzzle to create the cube. Now we are going to start with this basic cube. So for today all you will need for your materials are six square pieces of paper. You can do any colors that you would like. You can keep it all the same. Just use whatever paper you have. Just remember it has to be square. Let's get started. Set five pieces aside, leaving yourself one to work with. The first thing you are going to do is fold the paper in half, side to side. As we go through this, make sure that the edges of the paper are really lined up well and you have good creases. Open it back up. You now have two doors. So take the first door and fold it in so it goes to that center crease, but don't go over the crease. Take the second one and fold it in to meet it. Make sure that the papers do not go over one another. They should be touching in the middle. Then open the right door. Take the top right corner and line it up with the next crease to create a small little triangle. Then fold that door closed. Go to your bottom left corner and fold that one in along the next crease to create a little triangle and close that door. Then take the top left corner and fold it all the way across so that it meets the other side and creates a big triangle. Then take the bottom right corner and fold that one all the way across. So now you have two triangles. Now take that top triangle and you are going to slide it under that door that you created. It should fit nicely. Then you are going to take the bottom triangle and slide it under the left door. You should now have a parallelogram type shape. Flip it over. In the center you can kind of see a square forming. So we are going to take that top point and fold it straight down to the next corner to create a nice triangle and then the bottom point straight up to that corner and now you should have a little 
square. You have created a Sonob unit. That is what this unit is called. That was one unit. We need six units to create our cube. So grab your other five papers and following the same directions, create six units. And then I will show you how to put them all together to create the cube. Make sure as you're doing it, you follow the exact same directions. You always have to fold the little triangles at the top right and bottom left for the first step. Have fun folding. creating your six Sonob units. Now it's time to put them together to create a cube. Set aside five and pick up your first one. On the front part that is a square, you'll notice there are two pockets. We are going to slide the pieces together using those pockets. So pick up the first one and make sure it's pointing up and down. Pick up the second one and make sure it's going side to side. Slide in the triangle into the pocket. Now you'll notice we've created a corner of the cube. Pick up your next piece. This is going to be the top of our cube. Now, slide it in so that the flap from your first piece covers up part of the square. Slide in the point to the pocket on one edge, then go over where your flap covers the top of the cube and slide your triangle into the pocket. Good. Now you have three sides of your cube. Grab another piece. and tuck it under the pockets. Now, I see that that pocket is being covered by that flap. So that means I can put that flap into the pocket. Now let me check and see if I have any layers. Oh, yep, here we go. So this flap is covering that pocket. Now, sometimes it's difficult. You might have to kind of bend the paper back a little to get it into the pockets. And pieces might come apart as you're working. That's okay, just put it back together. This is a very hard puzzle and you might not get it the first time. It definitely took me a few tries to get my cubes together when I first started creating them. Just remember whenever a flap is covering a pocket, you can bend it back and slide it into that pocket. Now, the final piece might be a little difficult, but make sure you have all the other flaps in first before we try to get in the last piece of the cube. Good. So set your cube down and grab your last piece. Make sure the two flaps of your last piece are pointing in the opposite direction as the two flaps you have left. Slide in the two flaps that are already there first so that you don't accidentally hide it under your cube. What? From your account or some other account? You might have to wiggle the pieces around a little bit to get it to fit. Then slide in your last two flaps. We 
you might have to shift things as you are working so that you have a nice cube. It's okay if the paper bends a little. Paper is resilient. And there you go. We have our six-sided cube. Great job. Great job today with a super hard origami folding lesson. Now, let's review our target. I can create a geometric cube. So, I know it's really difficult, but work really hard and practice folding those different units so that you can create a geometric cube. When you are done, please remember to upload a photo to Artsonia. You can do this either on your computer or on a family member's phone. Please feel free to also leave me questions or comments on our YouTube channel or in Google Classroom, and I'd love to check them out and answer any questions that you might have. Next video, we are going to learn how to use the unit from today to create an even more complex geometric shape. Lots of fun! So, have fun folding, and after this you can watch a how-to video to upload your photo to Artsonia if you're not sure how, and enjoy!